Hello, welcome to our very first church at home service. Um, this is uh, the way we're going to be doing church for the younger members of the family. Um, we haven't been able to see you for a long time and we miss you. Um, but obviously, until we can be together again, we've decided that this would be the best way to to touch base with you, really. So it's going to be somebody from the fellowship that reads a story to you each week um, via a video. And then you will also have some activities connected to that story that you can then do with your family, with your brothers or sisters, your mums or dads, whoever you've got at home around you. Um, there are different things. You can make things, you can colour, you can read, you can watch videos, listen to music. And you don't have to do all of them. You can pick and choose what's best for you. Um, but we just wanted you to have something and to see a familiar face. So I'm going to read this week's story, which is the Sermon on the Mount. And we're thinking about God telling us not to worry, um, that he has everything that we need. And yeah, just to look to him. Wherever Jesus went with his disciples, crowds of people came to listen to him. On the Sabbath, he taught them in the synagogues. But most of the time, he talked to them out of doors as the weather was often hot and dry. One day he walked up a mountain and the people sat down so they could see and hear him. Jesus told them that those people who were really hungry to know God would be satisfied. He told them they should be content and not worry. Don't worry about food or clothing. Look at the birds, he said. They don't grow and store food, but God takes care of them and he will take care of you. Look at the beautiful flowers. They don't make their clothes. Even the great King Solomon wasn't better dressed than them. Don't worry about what might happen, but do what God wants you to do, and he will give you what you need. It's easy to love your friends, but you should love all people and be kind to those who are nasty to you. When you do someone a good turn, do it secretly and don't tell them. God will see you and reward you. When you say a prayer, talk to God as you would your father. Ask him for the things that you need, but don't ask him for the same things over and over again, because God knows what you need. Anyone who listens to me, said Jesus, and does what I say, is like a man who builds a house on solid rock. When, the rain, when it rains and the wind blows and the floods come, his house will stand strong and firm. But anyone who hears me and does not do what I say is like a man who builds a house on the sand. When it rains, the wind blows and the floods come, his house will be washed away because it was built on only soft sand. So that's the story today. Um, and like I said, it's all about us thinking about not worrying um, and giving things to God. I hope you enjoy the activities and somebody else will be with you next week to read you the next story. Okay, bye.